Hey, music making masters, do you fancy yourself a fancy man? Good, because today we're going to learn how to automate the time signature in Reason. This is going to be a really quick tip, so hang on, buckle up, and strap in and do everything else you need to do. Okay, so we've got this really stupid loop here. Cool. So to automate the time signature, all you have to do is left click, or I mean, sorry, right click on either one of these parts. You can automate them independently. So we've got 3, 4 here. Let's go. It creates a new lane called time signature. We'll select the pencil key, or you can hit the W key on your keyboard. Double click on this, and let's use the razor to split this in half. So now you've got two sections that say 4, 4. Well, you can click on it and drop it down to 3, 4. And you'll maybe want to stretch it out. Or you can draw on another section at the end here, for example. I won't because of the quarter. Let's just turn it off. All right. No. All right. Apparently, it doesn't let you. Uh, shifted with that much granularity with the tempo change. But anyway, we'll hear how this sounds. Great, huh? And we can actually, what we might want to do is consider scaling each of these sections to their length. So I'm just cutting them up and Using holding down the Alt key to make them the length of the bar. And the drums don't really help here, but uh, as you see, it's not that hard to change the time signature in Reason. I hope you've got better uses than this for this than I do. I pretty much write in 4-4 four, four, or 3-4 all the time. Very rarely change them up. But if you're a fancy man, then please apply this, and don't be afraid to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.